Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So this is going to be part five of my wash series. So far we've done the wheels, the actual car wash process, drying and windows. So part five is actually the interior. Now that consists of a few different things, but it's really nothing uh, extravagant or crazy or, or hard to do. As long as you stay on top of this, uh, it, it really is not that much work. Um, it, I mean, it kind of goes along with anything in terms of washing your car. As long as you stay on top of the maintenance and just doing, doing your wash every one to two weeks or so, depending on how much you drive, uh, it could be longer than that, but you know, I. If you daily drive your car like I do, I wash every week to two weeks, uh, depending on how dirty it gets or you know the weather and everything. But uh, I stay on top of it. I do this every single wash just to you know just maintenance. Uh, I don't like to get it to a point where it's so dirty that I have you know it takes hours and hours to clean something. So by actually doing this uh, and staying on top of it, you actually create less work for yourself. Because uh, for me, I like to do something quick. I don't like to you know, sit there for hours and hours doing the same thing over and over just to get it to a point where I can, I'm satisfied. Uh, I like to just keep it clean at all times so when I do wash the car or the interior or whatever it is, uh, it doesn't take that much work. Uh, it's very satisfying and it's very easy to do. So we're gonna be focusing on the interior cleaning of the car. Uh, we'll go over the products that I use, the different towels and everything. So this is my interior cleaning arsenal or, or products that I use. I forget which towels these are. I believe these are from Adams though, uh, but they're very soft, they're very white, and I'll go over in a little bit as to why I use white. The actual products that I use is mainly just one. Uh, it's, I mean, you can see two here, but the main one that I use is by PNS. Uh, this is their interior cleaner. I absolutely love this stuff. I've tried multiple, multiple different types of interior cleaners, and ultimately I ended up landing on this one as my favorite. I've used Adams. I actually still have Adams up here. Uh, I have a little bit left in there, but uh, you know, it's, it's okay. It, it does the job, but for whatever reason, I just like the way this cleans. I like the way it smells. I, I just, something about it, just, I prefer it. Uh, so I'm kind of transitioning over from Adam's cleaner to the PNS. I've been using this for a while now. Uh, so once this is out, this is going to take the spot over here uh, in that bottle. But this was kind of my trial run bottle and I absolutely love it. I've been using it for a while and honestly, it's it's still like three quarters full. It's really not that empty. So uh, you know, it lasts a while. And like I said, I use this with every single wash. This is Sonax uh, Alcantara cleaner. I've did a whole, I've done a whole video on how to clean Alcantara with this product, uh, but I don't use this every single wash. It's been a couple months that I've actually cleaned the Alcantara in the car, the steering wheel, the uh, center of the seats, the, the boots and everything. Um, so, you know, it's time to do it. So I figured I would just show it in the interior cleaning, just kind of like a full cleaning and exactly what I do to keep it looking nice. Um, so I figured I'll go over that as well again. I also do a quick vacuuming as well, uh, but the car really doesn't need it. Um, I only do a vacuuming when it really does need it, mainly because it's a pain in the butt to take out the shop vac, uh, and I don't do it all the time. I usually only do it when it's really, really necessary. But I am thinking about getting some type of uh, wall-mounted uh, vac system or something, probably put it over in that corner, I don't know. I'm going to be redoing this entire garage eventually. Um, right now, it's just this, this is just how it is. You know, when we bought the house four years ago, uh, this is just, how it looks, you know, it's half, half she rocked and there's holes and everything. And it's just not up to my standards, but it's been working for me for the past couple years. Uh, but I do plan on doing a full garage overhaul that I think you guys might be interested in seeing. Uh, you know, I got my little setup here, but ultimately, you know, I'm going to be doing everything sheet rock and be fixing the ceilings, going to be doing a nice floor, more cabinets, just, you know, a really, really nice place to be. Uh, basically going to make it like a room that you, you know, you want to spend time in. I spend a lot of time in this garage. Uh, so I always want to make sure that it's a place where I want to be. Uh, so that is good. That is coming. I don't know when I've been trying to get the funds to be able to do it, but some, for some reason and somehow when you own a house, those fun funds, I guess, if you want to call it, uh, they always get pulled away from, you know, household stuff. And because right now we're actually completely redoing our HVAC system, which is no fun and really expensive. And that kind of really ate into the garage funds. But uh, that's just part of being a homeowner. That's what happens, you know, and having two kids and everything, uh, stuff always comes up. So that's just a part of life. But uh, one day we're gonna be redoing this whole garage. I'm gonna document the whole process. So that's gonna be pretty fun. I'm extremely grateful for what I have. Uh, I use it to its full extent and I absolutely love having a two car garage. Um, I take full advantage of it and I really appreciate being able to park my car in here and keep it nice and safe uh, during, you know, during the day and, and, and night and everything. Uh, it's just really nice to have it. So uh, I've been there before. I've, I've had a house that didn't have a garage and everything. So 
we've all been there. Um, so I can definitely appreciate having a garage. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Let's get to cleaning the interior and showing you exactly what I do, uh, just going through the steps and everything, and just how I maintain my interior and how I keep it that clean. All right, so this is what we got going on for the interior. I'm sure you guys have seen what's going on or what I have as my interior. Uh, I got two different seats, but um, you know that's just what it is for now. Eventually, I'm gonna get another Recaro for this side, uh, but for right now, absolutely love the way it looks. Uh, and I maintain that, that that seat the same way I maintain this seat. Obviously, it's not Alcantara, it's cloth. So I obviously that's the only part that's different. But otherwise, the clean, clean the leather and everything exactly the same. I use the same products. Um, so nothing has really changed in that regard. Keep in mind, guys, it's 96 degrees in the garage right now. So it's pretty darn warm. It's, we've had a pretty uh, big heat wave here in New Jersey uh, the past couple days. It's been really, really hot. Uh, and having no air conditioning in the house is pretty terrible. Thankfully, we have some... Uh, window units that we've been using to you know <laughs> kind of beat the heat and keep everybody somewhat comfortable a couple weeks the HVAC company is coming in to fix everything and uh, we're getting a whole new system so really looking forward to that so if you see me sweating profusely in this video <laughs> no need to comment I'm it's extremely hot and humid all right so let's get to cleaning this interior so we're simply going to take the PNS uh, interior cleaner as I discussed before one of my white Adams uh, microfiber. The reason why I use white is because I like to see if any dye or any dirt is actually coming up from the interior or the other leather or anything that I'm wiping down on the inside of the car. Uh, if you use a darker colored microfiber or towel, you won't be able to tell and sometimes um, you know you could do some damage. So using white, you could, you're able to see exactly how much dirt or how much dye or whatever it is that you're wiping down is actually coming up. So you can see progress and make sure you're not you know overdoing it or using the wrong product or something like that. Uh, thankfully, the PNS interior detailer uh, is a really really great stuff. I have had no issues on any part of the interior of the car, whether it's leather, Alcantara, or the dash or anything. Uh, it works on everything which is one thing that I love about it. I don't have to worry about getting, not getting it on certain parts. So the first step is you simply just want to spray down the towel, a couple sprays. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, my advice is don't spray directly on the, on the panel or the uh, piece of the interior that you're actually wiping down. It just gets, it's too much liquid. It's too, there's too much on it. So just spraying it on the towel actually does wonders. And I think that really works best. Uh, so I'm simply just going to spray it on the towel like I did. Then just wipe down. I usually start with the door cards to kind of work my way in, but it does a really nice job. It leaves a nice matte finish. You know, it's nothing glossy or shiny. I use it right on the Alcantara. Very, very straightforward. So it's not really dirty. You might be able to see some, uh, some dirt coming up, but it's really not that much. I keep the interior really clean, so it doesn't really get too dirty. So I really don't have to sit there for hours and do it. And, you know, scrub everything down like crazy. Um, but it gets the job done you know i'd be really curious to see how this does on something that's really really dirty i haven't had to do that thankfully because i keep my car pretty clean um but it does a really nice job and like i said uh it leaves a really nice finish so after you finish wiping it down on the initial wipe i turn the towel over and just go over with a final wipe just to make sure i got all the any excess or anything like that uh, just to make sure there's no there's no wet spots or uh, parts that i missed and just leaves a really, really nice finish. Uh, I don't like glossy finishes. I don't like when it's sticky or tacky. Uh, you know, back in the day, detailing interior, interior detailing products just looked, it, they looked greasy and slimy. And I just was never a fan of it even back then. Uh, I used to work at a detail shop and I remember using some old products that used to do that. And I was never a fan, uh, but this stuff is great. It leaves a really, like I said, it leaves a really nice matte finish. There's no shine to it. It looks really clean and it smells really, really nice. So after you eventually wipe down everything in the car, the whole interior smells exactly like the product. And I just happen to really like that smell. This, I really feel like it pulls any of the dirts or anything that's in the pores of the, of the uh, panels or interior parts uh, and, just le and just gets it really, really clean. Like I said, my interior is not dirty, so you really won't see much uh, dirt on here. Uh, but sometimes when I'm wiping down the seat or something, I'll catch uh, you know a little bit of darker spots on the towel. It's just confirming that the, the product is working and it's actually cleaning. So now we're gonna work on the passenger seat. Uh, it's exactly the same process. I'm simply just going to spray the side, that the first side that I sprayed with some product. Uh, and then I'm just gonna wipe down the leather uh, you know, this seat doesn't really get used too much. So like I said, it doesn't even get dirty, but I still like to wipe it down just to stay on top of it. Um, but it really does a nice job cleaning the leather, cleaning
Queen of the Alcantara. You, know, you don't need to be afraid to use it on anything. It leaves a nice matte finish. And like I said, it smells really good. So you don't have to get too complicated with this. You don't have to use a million brushes. You don't have to use a million different products. Something about it is just really nice, just being able to use one product in the entire interior and not have to bounce around with a million different things and different brushes and different whatever, different tools. I like to just spray one thing down, get the whole interior clean, uh, and then just move on. You know, Like I said, I'm all about efficiency. I don't want to use a million different things and be here for hours. Uh, I just want a product that works and you don't have to sit there and do uh, a million different steps to get it clean. So we're going to be working on the dash right now. Same exact steps. We're just going to spray down the one side uh, and then we're simply just going to wipe down. I don't want to get in your way. So just wipe down the dash here. You don't have to get too crazy. It dries really nice. So if you miss a spot, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then you just got to turn it over. Wipe it down. And that's it. Really simple. I clean my car so often and it takes some time out of my day. So I want to make sure that I'm doing everything efficiently as possible. Uh, so having the PNS interior uh, clean interior cleaner uh, really cuts down the time and it just leaves a perfect finish. And I absolutely love this stuff. So uh, I highly suggest you guys check it out. I have it, I have a link in the description for, if you guys are interested in picking it up. Uh, so be sure to use that if you want to buy some. I absolutely love it. I completely recommend it to anybody for any interior, for any different type of car. Uh, it's awesome stuff. All right, so now we're going to be moving on to the Alcantara cleaner. I don't, like I said, I don't do this every single wash. This is once every maybe two to three months. Uh, I think it's actually been longer than that this round, mainly because, you know, with all quarantining, I wasn't driving the car much, so I didn't have to do this. Uh, and honestly, the, the wheel is really clean right now. Uh, it doesn't need it. Uh, but like I said, I just like to stay on top of it so it's not, you know, it doesn't get so dirty where it takes hours and hours to keep it clean or get it clean. Uh, but I just, like I said, I stay on top of it and it just stays this looking this good all the time. I got a new, a new uh, white Adams towel, same exact towel as I use the interior with the PNS. Uh, and then I got my Sonax Alcantara cleaner here. This is just a foam. I'm simply just going to spray some on the towel like that. I'm going to simply just wipe it in and do a good scrubbing around the whole entire car. Uh, the top center portion is leather, uh, but, or, or vinyl or fake, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's, it's obviously different material, but I just end up using the same product on here. But I just wipe it down, make sure I get around the whole entire wheel, get on the stitching. Very straightforward, but it leaves Alcantara looking fresh and new and honestly my I've had this thing for over three years now uh, the same exact steering wheel and it literally looks at actually it looks better than it did when I first got it when I first got it there was a lot of dust uh, I think that was just because of you know it was sitting uh, and the shelves or whatever even though it was in the box uh, plus Alcantara tends to hold on to dust and, and you know particles and everything just in wherever they make it uh, so the initial cleaning was actually probably the biggest cleaning I've had with this wheel. But either way, it doesn't get dirty. The only part that gets somewhat dirty is on the corners right here where my thumbs go. Um, that's the only part that I find, find you know, a little dirty. You can kind of see some dirt on, I don't know if you can on camera, but that's the main place where I hold it. I hold it at nine and three, like you should, not 10 and two. I don't do any gangster leans or anything like that. So that red stripe hardly even gets touched. But, but yeah, it's very, very simple. Yeah, you can see some grime, I guess, right here. I just wiped it down, you know, using the product, and then I'm just gonna go around using the dry side of the towel and wipe it off again. I'm gonna do the other side. It's just a little awkward with this camera angle, and I'm really sweaty, and I don't wanna sit in the seat and make that dirty. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing this kind of awkwardly on the side. Let's get you a close up so you can see how nice the wheel looks. There you go. Looks super, super clean, super fresh. Uh, another step that I do after this to help the drying and also to help keep it nice and fresh is I take a really soft uh, toothbrush, just the normal one that you would use on your teeth, uh, go around and fluff up the fibers. It just keeps it looking fresh and nice uh, and it keeps those fibers on the Alcantara standing up and, and looking brand new. Because uh, over time, Alcantara, obviously, it's a little bit more maintenance than leather uh, and it can get matted down if you don't take care of it. 
but staying on top of it with, with the uh, Sonex Alcantara cleaner and, and a soft bristle toothbrush uh, makes it honestly look brand new every single time. So that is the extent of my interior cleaning. It's nothing extraordinary. It's nothing over the top. Uh, these products, you can get everything for probably under 20 bucks. I forget how much everything is, uh, but it's probably around 20, 30 bucks for both of these products. Uh, if you just want to get one or you don't have any Alcantara in the car, uh, just get the PNS interior cleaner. This stuff does wonders. I recommend it on every single, you know, every single material that you use on the car or inside the car whether it's leather, whether it's cloth or Alcantara, whatever it is, you could use it on your floor mats, your carpets, literally everywhere. It just does such a great job uh, and I'm, I'm so happy with it. I'm finally excited uh, that I have a product that I'm ecstatic about and it, and it just works. The next step that I would do is vacuum out the interior, but the car really doesn't need it. I'll show you real quick. It literally is only me driving. There's a couple little pieces like right there. Uh, I simply just take out the floor mat and bang it out and it'll look brand new. But once it gets, you know, maybe maybe once a month, I'll take out the, the shop back and clean everything down. Uh, but it's literally only me in the car most of the time, so it really doesn't get dirty. It's only the driver's side that co uh, collects some dirt and, and stones and whatever's on my feet. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm that type of person that I bang my feet off before I get in the car, so it stays relatively clean. Uh, and yes, I do use the, um, the carpet year-round. I don't put the rubber mats in. I don't use WeatherTech. I think they look so ugly and, and I'm just not a fan of it. I prefer the carpet look uh, and plus it has a nice STI there and plus these things are so cheap so you know if I do wear through them and they get really really gross I'll just toss them and get a new pair. I forget how much they are but it's really not that expensive. That is the extent. I hope you guys got a good idea of how I keep my interior clean. It's Like I said it's nothing crazy. It's nothing over the top. It's very simple. I do it every single wash just to stay on top of it and if you guys have any questions be sure to ask. I'll be happy to answer. Everything that I used in this video everything is in the description below you can either use the obsessed garage link where you can buy the uh, PNS interior cleaner uh, along with many other stuff or you can use the actual links from Amazon below whichever it doesn't matter I don't care which one you use uh, just make sure you use at least one of them because it helps the channel out and I really do appreciate it and uh, it helps me continue to make these videos for you guys so that's it for this one guys I appreciate you watching I appreciate you checking in uh, if you guys have any questions be sure to ask them below if you guys have any questions about any mods on the car or any other detailing videos be sure to check my old videos I have tons and tons on this car I literally have a, a video on every single mod I've done and every single product that I use for detailing uh, so be sure to check those out but yeah guys that's it for this one in the meantime keep it clean keep it simple and I'll catch you in the next one Thank you.